Okay, so we're going to do an azimuth of the sun. Uh, azimuths are used when we need to take a true bearing of the body, or get a true bearing of the body, and it isn't on the horizon. If it's on the horizon, we can do an amplitude. If it's not, we've got to do an azimuth. Well, we don't have to, but we're going to do an azimuth. Okay, so to use an azimuth, it's as simple as A, B, C. A, tan lap over tan L, H, A. B, tan deck over sine L, H, A. C, A plus or minus B. Okay. Once you've got a C, you can then just do 1 divided by C times the cosine of the latitude, and that will give you the tan of the azimuth. Okay? If you've got the tan of the azimuth, then you can get the true azimuth, and then we name it quadrantly, and that gives us the true bearing of the body. Okay? Now, as we said there, you need a LHA, you need a deck, and you need a latitude. To get an LHA in a declination, you obviously also need a UT time. So you might have to do some chronometer work in this, or you might just have to jump straight in with a UT time from the question. It will depend what they give you. Okay. So in the example we've got here, on this one that we've knocked together, we've got a ship's time of 8.15 on the 18th June at 49.02 north and 5.15 west. The chronometer is 8 hours 31 minutes and 4 seconds with an error of 5 minutes and 50 seconds slow. So we've got to think about that. Tells us the compass bearing of the sun at the time and the variation. And the question asks us, calculate the true bearing of the sun and the compass error. Okay. So we're going to have to start by getting a UT time. The chronometer says 8.31. Chronometers are just 12 hour clock like a watch. We don't know if it's AM or PM. Depending where we are in the world, it could be either. If you're in the Far East, it's going to be a very different time to UT if you're in the UK at the same time. So the ship's time in this case was 08.15. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a ship's time of 08.15. Okay. We're going to say, right, where in the world were we? Well, at 08.15, we were actually at 5 degrees 15 minutes west. So what we're going to do is do our longitude and time. Of 5 degrees 15 minutes west divided by 15 and that's going to give us 5, 20, 21 minutes okay and that's going to be an approximate UT so that's going to be 0836 approximate now we need an actual UT we're only using that to find out if it's going to be EM or PM on the chronometer so was that 0831 or 2031 well we know now it was 8.30 roughly UT, so it's going to be 8.30 actual. So the chronometer should have been reading 08.31.04 seconds. And the error was 5 minutes and 50 seconds slow. So we're going to have to add that on. A bit slow to catch it up, and that will give us the actual UT of 08.31. 36.54. Now we've got a UT time of 8.36.54, we can go into the almanac, get an LHA, get, well get a GHA to get our LHA, and get a declination, and then we're ready to proceed with our ABCs. So what we'll do, we'll just write the time on the next page there, 8.36.54. So we've got that to hand, 8.36.54. Now what I need to get, I need to get a GHA of the sun, and then I'm going to have to add the increments. Once I've done that, that's going to give me the actual GHA of the sun. I can apply my longitude, and that will give me the LHA of the sun. I also need a declination. So the declination, I'm going to apply a D correction to. And then that's going to give me the actual corrected declination for the time. Because obviously the GHA that we get in the top here and the declination we get in the top here, they're for the whole hour. Okay? We don't have the whole hour requirement, we're going to be somewhere in between. So, the question tells us it's the 18th of June. So what we're going to do in our almanac, we are going to turn to the 18th of June. Okay? We're going to say, right, we want the sun. For the 18th of June, we want the sun. So at 0800, the sun's GHA was 29945.1. So what we're going to do is jump back to that and say 299 degrees 45.1 minutes. 
Now you could at this point go straight into declination or you could go straight through your increments. I'm going to go across the declination for the simple reason that while I'm on this page, I'm going to get all the information from it in the almanac. Because if I'm going backwards and forwards, if you're anything like me, at some point you're going to make a mistake. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is go back into my almanac and get the declination information while I'm here. So I can see it's north 23, 24.3, and I can see the D correction there at the bottom is zero. So north 23, 24.3. My D was zero, so that's obviously going to be zero. Can't interpolate for zero, which gives me a declination of north 23 degrees 24.3 minutes. Now my increments, I now need to go back into my almanac again to get them. So I'm going to go back into my almanac and have a look in said almanac at the back. I want 36 minutes and 54 seconds. So I turn the 36 minutes page at the back. Sun. 54 seconds was 9 degrees 13.5 minutes. So, say so okay, that was 9 degrees 13.5 minutes. So that's going to be 308 degrees 58.6 minutes. Okay. So, I now need to apply my longitude. Well, I'm west. So west is always minus for this. If you're not sure, have a look in your almanac. It tells you in page 70 how to do that, which leaves me with an LHA of 303 degrees, 43.6 minutes. So I've got an LHA of 303, 43.6. I've got a declination of north 23, 24.3. What I can do now is say, right, okay, Let's find my A, B, C's. Okay. Now, A was tan lat over tan LHA. B was tan dec over sine LHA. And C is A plus or minus B. And then the tan of the azimuth is that times the cosine of the latitude and it's 1 divided by all of it. So the tan of the azimuth is that. Now there are some rules for this. A has to be named north or south okay and that is going to be based on whether the LHA is between or outside of 1927. Norries, for reasons known only to Mr Norrie, says it's named opposite to the latitude except when LHA is 90 to 270. In other words, if LHA is between 90 and 270, it's the same as latitude. Mm -hmm. So LHA 90 degrees to 270 degrees, it's the same as your lat. And it tells you this in Norries if you check the tables on page 380 in the version Norries we use at the college. B is going to be named north or south, the same as declination. And C, we're going to do the same names, we're going to add them, different names, we're going to subtract them, and then we're going to name them the greater. For the azimuth, it's an azimuth, so it's going to be named north or south based on C. And then it's going to be named east or west, so it's going to be north, south, however many degrees, east or west, based on the LHA. If LHA is from 0 to 180, it's going to be west. If it's 180 to 360, it's going to be east. And that's basically because if you think you're there, the first 180 degrees of you are going to be to the west, and then after that, they're going to be on the eastern side. Because LHA is measured westerly, that way, west round clockwise is always going to be add, so you're going to get to that number up to 180 on your western side, and after that, on your eastern side. Now, what we're going to do then 
is plumbing the numbers. So my oh, uh -huh. my LHA was 303.43.6. So I'm just going to jot that down. 303.43.6. is in the question and I need my declination which was north 23 24.3 between 90 and 270 so it's not going to be north. 90 to 70 the same if it's not it's not. So I need to plug them numbers in. So what I now do I get my calculator and I just type those numbers in. So I'm going to go tan 49 degrees 2 minutes divided by tan 303 degrees 43.6 minutes is minus zero point so we just ignore the minus we just call it zero point and in this case, it's 76887705. Now, Norris goes to two decimal places. Norris is a valid method, so if you went 0.77, fine. If you went four decimal places, that's fine. The LHA, uh, sorry, the examiner mentioned about LHA and numbers and things like that in his uh, IAMI June report of 2022, said he likes five decimal places, okay? Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna use four, you wanna use five, you wanna use two, it's all right. What we're getting at is it's presenting the final answer to an accurate level of precision, that's important, okay? So if you wanted to keep your whole answer in and just write memory A, that's fine, okay? So seven, six, eight, nine, and I'm going to save that as memory A in my calculator, okay? So B, tan 23 degrees, 24, Point three minutes divided by sine of the LHA, 303 degrees, 43.6 minutes, equals 0 0.5204. And that one's north, and I'm going to save that as B in my calculator. Okay? Now C, I'm just going to do A plus or minus B. So we've got recall A minus recall B equals C is going to be 0.2485 and south was greater so it's going to be south and I'm going to save that as C in my calculator memories okay so the tan of the azimuth is 1 divided by C times cos lat. So that's going to be 1 divided by 0 0.2485 times the cosine of 49 degrees and 2 minutes. So we type that into our calculator. That gives us the tan of it, so we shift tan to the minus one, and that tells us the azimuth equals same as C south 80.7 degrees or 80 degrees 44.8 minutes or 80.7 degrees, depending on what level of accuracy you want to work through. Examiner said he likes that level of accuracy for maths. And then our LHA, if it's west, it's going to be 0 to 180. If it's east, it's 180 to 360. Ours was 303, so it's going to be east. So south 80.7 east is going to give us an azimuth of 099.3 degrees true. Okay, so we've got 099.3 degrees true. Our compass was 095. So what we can do, 
So right, let's do a compass error. C D M V T. The compass was zero nine five degrees. Okay, you can do it that way if you want. Personally, I prefer to go true variation magnetic deviation compass. My true was zero nine. What was it? We had zero nine nine point three. Okay. The compass was 095. No matter which way we do it, we know the numbers. Okay. Some people like to do it this way on the left and work the way up and say right, 3 degrees east. And other people like to work the way down. You will get exactly the same answer. Okay. So that's going to be 096.3 degrees. Got to go east again. So that's going to be 1.3 degrees. Going to give us a deviation that's east again. So that's a 4.3 degree east compass error. If we were going up the way, we have gone exactly the same way, 099.3, that's going to be 096.3 degrees, which is then going to give us 1.3 degrees east deviation. Some people like to work up the way, some people like to work the way down. Personally, I prefer to do the way on the right, it makes no difference. Okay. Both ways get us a 4.3 degree compass error to the east. A deviation of 1.3 east. Okay. Check your numbers. 99.3 minus 95 is 4.3. Add those two up there. 4.3. We're happy. We've got that right. Okay. And that is how you do a compass error using an azimuth of the sun. Okay. That's how we get an azimuth. That's how we do the compass error.